Hello, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. Today we're going to continue working with fractions and here we're going to have a quick review of something I know you've probably seen before and that is what we call mixed numbers or sometimes we call them mixed fractions. So it's a very easy concept to get and to understand uh, but the easiest way to do it is to draw something and then explain it. So let's do that right now. Sometimes you will see a fraction that looks something like this as an example. Two and one half. And the way you write this is you have the big number out in front and then you have the fraction sitting next to it. And the way you say it literally in words is two and a half. Two and a half. So if you have two and a half cakes, let's say, then what you really have is two cakes plus one half cake. So literally in words it means exactly how it sounds. Two and a half cakes mean you have two cakes plus another half. So if I wanted to draw that, just to quickly show you, if I had two and a half cakes, here's cake number one, here's cake number two, here's another cake that I'm going to end up cutting in half. Now if I wanted to represent two and a half cakes, then what I have is this is the first cake, this is the second cake, and here's the half a cake. So this two and a half, that's what it means. When you see something like this where the numbers are written like that, that's two and a half. Now let's do another one, just to give you a little refresher, a little experience with these guys. If I have four and a third pencils, what does that really mean? If I have four and a third pencils, it means I have four pencils plus one third of a pencil. Right? So four and a third, exactly the way it sounds. So if I wanted to draw this, um, let's say here is one pencil, here is pencil number two, here is pencil number three, and here is pencil number four. I'm going to end up having a part of that last pencil. But anyway, if I wanted to represent graphically four and a third, actually I have one more I need to draw here. You'll see why in just a second. So here's my fourth pencil on the board. All right, so if I have this, or my fifth pencil I have on the board, if I wanted to represent this, four and a third. So here is pencil number one, so I take that one away. Here's pencil number two, I take that one away. Here's pencil number three, take that one away. Here's pencil number four, I take that one away. So this comes from the fact that there's four pencils in front. But if I have one third of a pencil, I have to divide the last pencil into three pieces because the bottom numbers are three. And then the top number means I only have one third of that last pencil. So if these were pencils here, this would represent four and one third pencils. One, two, three, four pencils plus part of another one, one out of three pieces to make that one third there. Okay? So it's a, it's a concept that is not hard once you get a little bit of practice with it. Mixed numbers are commonly seen all over the place and we're going to need to be comfortable with mixed fractions because we are going to, in a little while, add and subtract and multiply them together. So you need to be comfortable with how to do that. So if I have uh, three and four ninths uh, meter sticks, for example, then what it means is I have three plus four ninths more. All right, three plus four ninths more. So if I wanted to draw this, then I would have to say, all right, here is meter stick number one. Here's meter stick number two. Here's meter stick number three. And I know I'm going to need part of another one because I have a fraction hanging out there. So here is meter stick number one. Here is meter stick number one I have. Here's the second one that I have. Here is the third one that I have. Now for the last one, here's my last one. I have to chop it up into nine pieces, which is a little bit tough, but we'll try it. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll just make this guy so I have nine equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces. And how many pieces do I actually have? I only have four of those. So here's piece number one, piece number two, piece number three, and piece number four. So if I have three and four ninths 
meter sticks, I have one, two, three, and I have part of another one. I have four pieces out of nine. So it's representing three plus a fraction or a part of another one, right? So that's what mixed fractions are, a mixed number sometimes you see them uh, written as. It's basically a fraction with a whole number in the front which tells you how many whole things you have. The fraction is what it always is, it's just a part of another one. So make sure you understand that. But again, these mixed numbers are used to, um, to represent when you have more than one of something. Two and a half pies, three and three quarters, you know, cupcakes something like that. So make sure you understand this, uh, get some practice with it, follow me on to the next topic where we will continue building our skills with fractions.